and we're going to make community college free for everybody that wants to go to community college. And we're going to help everybody with student debt pay down the debt. Get it off their backs. Okay, just exactly how we're going to do that. Does that mean taxpayers are going to be the ones responsible for paying for everybody else's student debt that decides that they don't want to pay those debts anymore? Uh, meanwhile, let's not forget, while she's out there saying, don't worry about it, we'll take care of it for you, it, the debt has just ballooned under President Obama. I mean, his policies have actually caused loan balances to go up, up, up. And the number of borrowers have nearly doubled during his time in office. I mean, take a look at those numbers. The average borrower now has 27K in debt versus 19K back in 2005. Joining me right now are their thoughts on all of it. Fox News Radio Show talk host Alan Combs, along with Cato Institute Senior Fellow Dan Mitchell. Dan, you know, I've said this for years. When you keep giving out this many grants and you make getting loans that, that easy, you basically encourage the cost of college to go up faster than the rate of inflation for anything else. Uh, and simultaneously, you may actually incentivize people to go to college that you know, might be a whole lot better off going to trade school. Dan, have the policies that Obama has put in hurt Americans? It's definitely hurt students. But here's the dirty little secret of this whole issue. The colleges are the ones who get the benefits of these subsidies because the government gives out this much money in grants and loans. Yeah. Guess what happens? Tuition and fees yeah. go up no, by that I, much. Exactly. Uh, I mean, it's created a ton of inflation in college costs. So let's get and, to and, another big issue. I think we can all agree on that, without a doubt. Hillary Clinton wants to forgive this debt that students have. How is that fair? It's not fair for taxpayers, it's not fair for other students, it's not fair for the kids that don't go to college, but it's a great scam. Yeah, uh, it's wonderful for the universities <laughs> that pocketed all the money. Alan, uh, you, you want to take a stab at that? Well, you say that uh, Hillary Clinton wants to forgive loans. In 2007, there was a student loan forgiveness program passed under the previous president, before Barack Obama. It wasn't some kind of liberal idea. That was what they were giving loans 10 years hence. That kicks into 2017. Yeah, but we got and a lot more to forgive now, right? And that was passed by a Republican now, president. Right? A lot more to forgive. I mean, you're looking at $1.26 trillion worth of debt among right. students right now. And how do you make the decision to forgive some and not others? I think what's, what, well, the 2007 program forgave those who go into public service. For example, you work for the government, you have a government job, you have a public or a nonprofit job, those are the people who get forgiven. So it depends upon okay. what you do with your life after. But she's what, not what talking do you do about doing education? that. She's just saying it's not fair that you have this much debt. And I'm well, what she's saying it. is the same thing Bernie Sanders said, to a certain extent, which was very popular, which is, you know, you're going to actually have some money go to t pay down this debt. The cost of an education is totally ridiculous but in this country. I, yeah, I get and it. So the government needs to get out of the way so right. there's actually a real price to the education that well, students I, are actually deciding to pay. If I can pay. say, as the Wall Street Journal pointed out, by the way, today, this is really a good investment in the future of America. It's a good investment in, in young people and really helps the country long term. It's a great play for the for taxpayers to put their money. Uh, Dan? Does it teach people the right lessons? I mean, you can basically walk away from your bills? Two things that everyone should understand. First of all, go back over the last 30 or so years, mm -hmm. the cost of higher education has gone up by 1,000%, yeah. right. while the overall right. price level has gone up by 200%. So five times bigger price increases. And I, I agree with Alan. Right 